Did you know that you can run your entire digital products Etsy business just from your phone? Well, in today's video, I am going to show you all the apps that I use to run my business from my phone. Of course, I use my computer a lot. I prefer to do some tasks there. But if I was, let's say, out of town or I am running some errands around town somewhere and I get a message from one of my Etsy clients, I am sure that I can resolve that problem 100% from my phone or at least 99% in the cases, I am sure that I can resolve it from only my phone. All of these apps should be available both on iOS and on Android phones, so don't worry, you will be able to use these apps to run your Etsy business. And of course, you can use your phone to do digital products, print on demand and physical products as well. For physical products, you can inclusively take photos with your phone and use Canva to edit all of your photos. In that case too, you can manage everything from a phone. And this video is sponsored by the free resources section on my website. You will find the link down in the description box down below and in the first pinned comment. At the moment of filming this video, you can find free, very useful resources on there, but I plan to add many more over the upcoming weeks. So without any further ado, let's talk about the apps that I use to run my Etsy business from my phone. Okay, as you can see, here are the apps that I use. And the first one is the sell on Etsy app. And as you can see, the time is running out on this app. And by the time you might be watching this, this app may not be available because they are discontinuing it starting in May 2023. But as you can see, this is how the app looks like. You have your shop overview and some news and activities and stats, orders, messages, the standard things that we are used to with this older app. Now here you can check all of your statistics, reply to messages. A very useful thing is that the saved replies are available here. So you just have to set them up correctly at the beginning and then you will be ready to go with some saved replies on your phone as well. The next app that I use, of course, is the new Etsy seller app. This has an upgraded visuals and some things are located in different places. These are the stats for today. I'm filming quite early in the morning. I am on track for the Etsy star seller. I was star seller for I think three or four months, but then I got a very confused who left some bad reviews, but I'm fighting my way back to star seller again. The messages is the first icon in uh, the menu bar in this case, then orders and listings instead of the statistics. So you can manage all of your listings from the Etsy seller app. And then the main difference comes when you go under the more button. There is the explore, review, statistics, they move that here. View your Etsy shop, it will take you automatically to, to the buy on Etsy app. Marketing, vacation mode, this is a new feature that they added. Until now you were only able to put your shop on vacation mode from a desktop computer or from a browser. Finance, app settings and support. And that's that app. After I am done with the listing, I like to check how it looks for a mobile user. So I will use the Buy on Etsy app. Here is an example of a listing on the Buy on Etsy app. It is just simply called Etsy now. It used to be called Buy on Etsy. So that's why I say that. As you can see, there are the images, the title, the add to basket or the quick one button, one tap buy with Apple Pay. Some reviews and things like that. You can see how your item looks to a person who is shopping on a mobile phone. So this is really good so that you know how to arrange your images, how to write your titles, because those are the most important things at the moment. The next app that I use is Google Analytics. Did you know that you can connect your Etsy shop to Google Analytics to get some more accurate statistics and the second pair of eyes on the stats of your Etsy shop? Well, Google Analytics is really good for that. You can connect it and it will give you something like this. And you can see some really important and really useful information here like who is looking at your shop, from where is this traffic coming from, they're using a mobile, a desktop, a tablet, what device are they using and so I highly recommend connecting Google Analytics to your Etsy shop. Etsy Analytics and Etsy stats are really good but to get a second opinion from Google it is a really good thing to do because you are not relying only the information that Etsy is feeding you. The next app that I use is Canva. As I said before, you can design everything in Canva, starting from your actual product. 
Of course, it is a little bit harder on mobile than on a desktop computer, but you can do the same job on a mobile phone or on a tablet as on a desktop computer. After you are done with the design itself, you can create the listing images and the listing videos also in Canva. After you are done with all of your designs, you just simply download the images and upload them to Etsy. And of course, you can create all the promotional materials here as well. I'm thinking here about all the images for Pinterest. If you are using Instagram and Facebook for promotion, or if you are using the new Etsy Explore feature. You can create all of these materials right here. And this leads me to the next app, which is Tailwind. Tailwind is the best app that I found so far to save me time when it comes to scheduling to social media. And Tailwind can do Pinterest, Instagram and Facebook at the moment. Well, at least with the account that I have, but I will have to check if they do TikTok as well. But you can schedule your content months and months in advance or you can do it once every month on the beginning of the month and you can create the schedule for the next 30 days or the next 60 or 90 days and you can just forget about it everything will be on autopilot i started using tailwind when i got into pinterest and promoting my items on pinterest and as time uh, passed, I started adding Instagram as well. As you might have seen, uh, quite a big chunk of my traffic comes from Pinterest. So to have all of these pins automated, not only to my boards, but also to group boards as well, it is really handy for me and it saves me so much time. And with all of that said, the next two apps are Pinterest and Instagram. I use Instagram for my personal account as well, but, but I have created an account and I have created content for a separate Instagram account that promotes only my shop. And by having these apps installed on my phone, I can look on Pinterest not only for inspiration for my DIY projects and my dinner recipes, but I also can keep an eye on the things that I am pinning and how my business promotion is going both on Pinterest and on Instagram. And the next app that I use is called Aweber. I think that I haven't talked about Aweber on this channel yet, but you can integrate your Etsy shop with Aweber and you can send promotional emails to your customers through Aweber. But of course, for that, you have to give them a freebie to get them on your email list. Once people are on your email list, you can send them whatever you want, basically, just don't be spammy. But you can announce when you are having a sale, when you have a new collection out, or when you have a special thing going on in the shop, or anything that you can imagine that relates to your Etsy business. You can announce your most loyal and your most interested followers by with an email that something is happening in your shop and they should check it out. This should help you not only to increase traffic into your Etsy shop, but also to increase conversions and through that to increase sales in your shop as well. And with that said, the last app that I use is called Wineab or you need a budget. I try to keep a tight budget on in my business. Uh, as you saw it in a few of my previous videos where I talked about the budget that I have for this digital products Etsy business, I like to use YNAB to keep track of all of my finances, to project all of the expenses and the income and things like that. It also has a desktop version, but I like to use the app when I am on the go. So yes, those are the apps that I use to run my digital products Etsy business 100% from my phone. It is possible to do it, but some tabs, as I mentioned, might be harder to do it on your phone compared to a computer. When I am at home, I'm working on my desktop computer, but when I am running errands, I am out of town for the weekend or I am on vacation, I will take my phone and I will do everything from the phone. Of course, when you're on vacation, you shouldn't be working, but when you have your own business, you have things that you have to take care of. Thank you very much for watching this far. You can tell me in the comments what other kinds of apps are you using to run your Etsy business from your phone. And if you found this video interesting, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about my Etsy digital products business, basically. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.